We all know Godzilla, the king of the monsters. But what if one day the unthinkable happened? What if he just shrank? It sounds silly, right? A cute pet? Think again, because when a titan shrinks, the science gets wild. What about his weight? Would you expect him to have weight like a normal human? 80 kilograms? No, even at human sized, he'd still weight a minimum of 300 kilograms. Every step he took would create a noticeable vibration, making you think there's a mini quake right next to you. How about his muscle power? Do you really believe his punch would be a mere 300 newtons? <laughs> Cute, right? Wrong. In reality, his punch could generate 1,270 newtons. It's on the same level as a professional boxer. So if you meet a shrunk Godzilla, don't dare to fight him. He will knock you out instantly. Now let's see his atomic breath. Probably think his atomic breath is just a hot fire, maybe 260 degrees Celsius. Enough to scorch a bit, but the reality? It's a super focused laser beam hitting an insane 15,000 degrees Celsius it would vaporize. And recoil, it's like a one-ton object hitting him. He'd probably knock himself out every time. What about his appetite? Do you expect he'd be happily full after munching on three burgers? Cute, but incredibly wrong. This guy's a walking nuclear reactor. He'd need over one ton of food a day. That's roughly 500,000 calories. Forget a thousand burgers. He'd probably need a steady diet of well, nuclear waste just to keep going. Now, the body temperature. You'd probably expect his body temperature to be a normal, comfortable 37 degrees Celsius. But the reality? This guy is a living furnace. His body temperature is a terrifying 1,000 degrees Celsius. Anything made from plastic or wood would burn. Metal like copper or silver would melt. He's so hot because even when scaled down, the same bionuclear power core that fueled his monstrous form is still active. This intense atomic reaction keeps his body a living furnace, causing his skin to literally glow with blistering heat. So, if the king of the monsters ever shrinks, just remember, he's not cute. He's a living paradox. A walking, talking, scientific impossibility. The king of the monsters? More like the king of the science experiments.